Wait, so how have you been? Uh, now we can't catch up. We don't know where you are. <laughs> now you're in the Philippines. Uh, how did this uh, collaboration with Benjamin Kang for Rock Bottom Blues come about? Um, it came up, I went to Singapore for like the first time. Um, uh, really got a chance to go around and see a lot of the um, industry people. Um, I got to meet a bunch of musicians and uh, uh, during that get together, I met Benjamin Kang and he was actually, everyone told me before I went to Singapore, hey, you have to meet Benjamin. He's like mm -hmm. the Prince of Singapore. Um, wow. He's the pop star. <laughs> and I actually heard about him before actually through a bunch of um, his content. Um, yeah, he's a really funny dude. And we met during um, like a, a get together and immediately he said, I would love to work with you on a song. I have a bunch of stuff coming out next month. Uh, would you like to, to work together? And I was like, that's why I'm here. So um, I got very lucky. Wait, so how do you choose to curate or collaborate with international artists? What, what do you look for, honestly, when you, when you collaborate? Um, I think... With, with with Benjamin it was very unexpected, but um there's definitely just you know that aspect of getting along, you know, do we vibe well? Yeah. Do we have the same kind of sound? Um like for me it's really uh being able to see their passion in music. I don't know, not all collaborations are gonna work, but um but for me, yeah, just being I guess having that connection just on a on a very you know um surface level uh making sure that's there but working with international collaborations um for me I guess they would have to I guess kind of represent that sound of um an international asian act yeah do you you don't limit yourself to Asian collaborations. Also, you're open to any any artist, even here in the Philippines. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. And with with this, the rock bottom blues, it's a sad bop. Bakit sad? Bakit tayo sa sawe? Bakit tayo sa emotional ngayon? Uh, that's not. That was my. Bakit? That that was Ben. I'm happy right now. I'm happy, but uh, th that's. That was that's the direction for his new album. Um, I think it's called Gloomy Boogie. So it's all very okay. sad themed. Um, and then he sent me the song Rock Bottom Blues. Oh. And when you listen to the song, it's actually very, it's very fun, like it's very danceable, it's like yeah. a very radio hit. And I was like, wow. But then I listened to the lyrics and I was like, this is actually very sad. It's a really it's about yeah. you know being at your being at your worst, being at you know, the very rock bottom. And to the point where you become very toxic with your relationships, you know, you get kind of like, stay away from me, you know, I'm not worth it, you deserve better. It's kind of like that. And I think everyone's been in that kind of phase in their life where, you know, sometimes the negative thoughts get, you know, they, they get a hold of you. Why is it important to also put out songs like this? Um, Because they're real, you know, they're, we can't we can't be happy all the time and it's it's uh it's just a very real um uh message or it's a very real song like when you listen to it and it's very relatable so i think that's why you know it's important but right listen. now you told me a while ago you're happy so what do you find yourself writing about right now and honestly your music it's so sobrang pang international yun tunog niya pero I, I hear it being played honestly um when I was in Korea I heard a careless song uh a song from you uh, yeah what do you find yourself writing about right now or what tunes you know tickle your fancy um definitely the more energetic upbeat okay. like I I like making songs that are fun that make people want to dance that make people want to move uh -oh. um that kind of like lift people's spirits. I think for me, that's something that I did to deal with my own stuff. Um, you know, whenever I'm, you know, as, as a way to deal with any any negative emotions for me was to create positive music to to counter it. And it puts me in a good mood and I want it to put other people in a good mood. But right now, um, 
like even with my last album like for me the the songs i gravitate towards are ones about um love and also kind of figuring out what love means to you because it's something that it's always uh it's always changing for me it's something that means something else or adds new meaning you know the more you experience it 